What is up guys? Welcome to Boomer Base. Today I am here for solo leveling episode 6 and fuck me. What an absolute fantastic fucking episode. This episode is going to break the internet. Holy fuck it was so so fucking good. Enough with the swearing, let's get cracking. But before we get to the real content, if you end up liking what you see and want to see more, please subscribe and hit the bell to be notified anytime I upload. So, welcome back to another episode of Solo Leveling. Episode reviews. Today we're here for number six, and by golly gosh, was I excited for this episode. And it did not disappoint. In fact, it exceeded expectations. Um, one bit in particular I really liked seeing was with Go Gun He, the president, and with his sidekick Wu Jin Chu. They had a sort of like scrap, a little bit. A very, it was a very very minor part of the episode, but it was a little scrap. And wow, that wasn't in the webtoon that I read. I don't know if it's in the light novels at all. I have no clue. But wow, just that little bit just took the level from like a up here to a little bit further up here. It was so flipping good. You know, we had our our boy. In the dungeon, ready to fight that spider. You know, it was, you know, not looking the the best, so to speak. He was struggling a little bit with it. Jin Wu, you know, he this is his first time facing a C rank boss. The the snake and the golem they're about D rank bosses, so he was unsure. He still considers considers himself weak, which is a bit, you know, annoying and on the nose. But you know, it is what it is. Um, something that I noticed that was different in the man manga, whatever you want to call it, is he definitely didn't flinch when his fatigue went up. Now, as I mentioned, I don't really want to talk about spoilers past this bit, so I'll talk about just stuff in the episode as a whole. Um, you know, we got to see Jin fighting the boss. Um, was a really good fight, really well animated. You know, it was definitely very cool, as I mentioned, to see uh, Wu Jin Chul and Go Gun He Spa. Um, you know, that was just a nice, like, added bit into it. Uh, we got to see some of the Hunters Guild and White Tiger Guild girls get together for a tea. And we got to see Che or Cha Hai In, the S rank lady. You know, we got to see her defeat this monster. So these are just some things that I noticed that weren't in it. Um,. We got to see, I think, a couple more death scenes um, when Jin Wu gets to slicing. Um, but, hey-ho, the bit that everyone cares about, and the bit that I love the absolute most, not only was the fight with the, the boss monster really good and didn't feel too rushed or anything like that, we had the bit where Jin was getting better with his fighting, you know, with his... You know, he's having to try and combat something that his speed and dagger couldn't penetrate. Um, so he, you know, started to get, like, beat around the bush a little bit, then used his daily, you know, re-heal and stuff, and that then helped push over the edge, which was really nice. Then our <coughs> gang of fucking lizards came in. What bastards they are. And they were all like, oh, maybe the boss wasn't anything that amazing. No, Jin Woo's just an absolute machine, pal. Absolute machine. And you have no clue what you're getting into. And then begins the absolute anarchy that is Jin Woo absolutely shredding through Huang Dong Suk's, like, army. Or battalion. Or... I think it just his his gang his gang of misfits and hooligans and gosh I'm so happy that they got their just desserts I hate characters like them, you know, and the way that Jin Woo after getting hit with the big magic blast he gets back up he's like the little people always laugh last this is an absolute outrage I am not happy with it gets up the auras that start sparking off this man are just off the chain the music that they use the the bit where it's all like how 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 you know that was really well done this entire episode was just top notch like i genuinely might go rewatch it after i filmed this like i loved that episode top to bottom it was great for seeing a good boss fight it was great for seeing villains get their just desserts and in a cool way it was good to see jin just evolve and take that next step to becoming the king but I can't go further into that. Um, but 
I like that from having read solo leveling twice that they are giving the solo level. Yes, no, I just re I got so confused. Then they're giving the the side characters in solo leveling, like some of the girls from the 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 top guilds. We're getting to see a little bit more of Cha Cha Hey, the the S rank lady. Um, and you know, as I mentioned, the the president fight. You know, these are just all small bits that m may seem very minute to just and maybe a general audience, but not having them in the webtoon and then getting to see these small bits is just amazing. Like. I'm so I'm so honestly so gassed. Like I don't know where this sort of season is going to end. I don't know if it's been confirmed or not to be only twelve episodes, or if it's going to if we're going to get um, the full twenty four for the season. I really don't know. But honestly, this has been my favorite episode of anime that I've watched in twenty twenty four. I know we're very early into twenty twenty four and things, but. I don't think anything's going to top that for a while other than in solo leveling. Solo leveling has the potential to just do what Demon Slayer did, but to a whole new level. I just really hope that it, you know, gets the recognition it deserves. By no means of the stretch um, is it in an insane, you know, in terms of, you know, well, well-rounded anime as a whole, you know, it sticks with its guns and goes in you know it's very much you're going to watch this character go from the worst hunter in the world to quite possibly the best hunter in the world type of vibe you know it's just all about power-ups getting better stronger and just seeing those types of tropes and for me that's something that I love and I look for in anime so for me it's definitely winning it's winning 2024 anime for me and it's only probably going to get better I have had a quick look and it sadly is 12 episodes I don't really know where that's going to put us I assume it will be with the Igris fight that's to come in not probably towards the, or to the end of the season probably um, but will be a pretty good point to stop on but Wow, will I be wanting more episodes? I just... I'm almost speechless. It was just an amazing episode. Like, I've spoke about One Piece when Luffy went Gear 5 properly for the first time. Like, that was a very cool thing to watch and whatnot. And I've watched some stuff, but, God, I was just so happy to watch this episode. Like, oh, my gosh. I really hope everyone that watches this episode enjoys it just as much as I did. This is my favourite episode of the year so far. My favourite bite scene of the year so far. Just all around having a lot of fun with Soda Leveling. I'm loving doing these episode reviews each week for a series that I'm just thoroughly enjoying. Like, I'm enjoying Delicious and Dungeon, but Soda Leveling is where I'm at for anime, to be honest. But yeah, it'll only be a quick review this week. Please don't forget to drop a like, drop a comment, all that good stuff. Future Ben here. I realised that I didn't talk about one of the most important aspects of this episode. And that was Huang Dok's, Dong Suk's brother that we saw at the end. Although you're not familiar that it is him, I'm just saying that it is. Um, but it was very, very cool to see him. I do wish we ended a bit like the manga panel did, but we got to see the back of him, and it will be very interesting to see what's to come from him and the consequences of the D and E rank surviving a C rank dungeon. This is going to... Things are just only looking up from here. I can fully promise you, if you enjoyed this episode, you are going to just love everything that's to come. But yeah, I thought I would just quickly mention that about that bit, and that I really liked that. Did wish it could be better, obviously, but I'm already very happy with the episode. But yes, I'll say it again. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Tune in to another episode of Soda Leveling episode reviews. Take care now. All the best. Have a nice weekend. Hey, thank you for watching the video. Click the button to keep watching, or click the other video for more videos, and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you!